On that day, observers on Giza Hill in Yellowstone's Upper Giza Basin, near Old Faithful, witnessed something that hadn't been seen for two years. An eruption of Aurum Giza, this medium-sized but charismatic Giza lies at a bend of the boardwork that circles Giza Hill, in front of a shallow pool filled with Giza eggs or smooth pebbles made of layers of mineral precipitated from Giza water. According to citizen scientist observations, Aurum was witnessed erupting nearly 30 times over the subsequent 14 days, throwing water about 20 feet in the air. Aurum's awakening was not the only change on Giza Hill in the last a few weeks. The same day Aurum erupted, the popular beehive Giza erupted twice. Beehive typically erupts about every 18 to 22 hours, although with substantial variation. On May 24, a series of eruptions began with a shorter interval of about 15 to 16 hours. Small features became more active, too. By May 30, a small geyser known as UNG GHD 17 OT, a designation based on a system for naming small or otherwise unnamed features according to geographic location, in the runoff channel of Doublet Pool, began erupting for the first time since 2018, throwing water about three feet in the air and settling on a frequency of about once every 90 minutes for the first few days of its reawakening. The unusual activity on Giza Hill attracted community interest. Citizen scientist Graham Meach watched 17 erupt 20 times over a period of two days, carefully noting eruption times and how the intervals between eruptions varied. Meach's data cover a critical period in the eruptive cycle of 17 that would otherwise not have been captured before Park Service personnel could put monitoring equipment on the Giza.